Welcome back to the misadventures of Tron Bon. As always, we're st starting our episode on the ship. So, last time, one of the items we got was a comic. And so now we get to the fun part of the game, quote-unquote. Uh, that is trying to figure out which of these serve bots actually uses this item. So we're probably going to spend quite a bit of time just checking out each and every one. We also got a new room to check out. We'll get there in a bit. I helped build E-Tank 2. Game parts. Excellent. So that'll help approve our uh, normal vehicle. Sorry, I was thinking for a second. It's the Gustav. This is our main vehicle we used for some of these missions. That's just gonna tell us what we can use that item for. But it doesn't unfortunately tell us who we should give it to. Yeah, yeah maybe they checked like the maybe there's a hint in like the the big serve bot list you can pull up. But I wasn't thinking of that at the time. Now finally when I went to the gym area, uh that's when I was able to find the proper uh, serve bot. It's also annoying having to go through all these different menus, figure out which button does, remember which button does what for just menus. But we finally give it to number 9! Sheriff Mega! I love this. Trying to be the serious, dramatic cowboy. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of when uh, Ruby was a <laughs> tried to be a cowboy. Then got a special skill from it, so it all worked out in the end. Number nine became a sniper. It's good to know. And so we don't want to give that redhead part to uh, him, apparently. Okay, now what's this? For some insane reason, I have a torture room. Oh no. I'm sorry, torture RM. <laughs> Even Tron's confused on what, what, why he wants to be in the torture room. Anyway, this is basically how we go of, uh, the sloth status, I guess, from, uh, Servbot when they reach max sloth. So basically, the way this works is that, uh, use, uh, three of the four main, uh, face buttons on the PlayStation controller. And they literally cause... These things happen! A 10-ton weight spikes and fire! It's a 
badly hurt our poor little servbot just so it will be slightly less lazy in the battlefield. For such wacky villains, this is pretty horrific. What a wild thing. What a thing to put in your kid's game. Unfortunately, we failed, so we didn't do it. But, uh, it's not a really big deal. So one of them is a bit lazy at this point. Eh, whatever. Just wanted to showcase this very weird part of the game. I know you're playing as villains, but still. Weird thing to... it's it just so weird. Trying to ignore that for this for a second. Uh, go back to the regular HQ and yeah, do another mission. Ah, oh, we use a brain cube. We prove the brains of a thing that doesn't literally have a brain because it's a robot. Sure. Since we run out of original missions to do, we're going to try the next level 2 of the bank mission. Hooray. Try robbing a bank again. So yeah, this side we have our map of the general area. And the usual information, it's not really all that interesting. I will say I am. The surf bots are kinda I'm kinda just using as uh, just, just because, like, I don't think this is something where I need to put that much thought into it. I don't think there's, like, a particularly dynamic system to justify all these different serve bots being used in the missions. It just feels like it's there because the established there are, like, 40 serve bots. So here's 40 serve bots, let's use them. Like, a lot of them make most sense in the context of, like, the ship itself, not so much the missions. It's superfluous, you could say. How? Don't you ever learn from your mistakes? How could you do this again? When we get back, I'm gonna have to punish all of you! Oh no! We're sticking with the plan. We're walking to the next town and robbing the bank! Roger! Get to the next town and... Rob the bank. Yeah. No, seriously though. How do you make that mistake? That's an impressive amount of stupidity. Also, the local, like the local citizens, are uh, throwing rocks at us. I don't think that's much of a threat to our giant robot. Though it was nice of them to rebuild and stuff their places with more money for us to take. 
Thought I could maybe follow the car through the tunnel. No, you can't. <laughs> what? But we're gonna mostly ignore that because we've been there. Shoot the house a bit to open it up. That's how houses work. Yeah, I do like how they give us money and random food. Nothing behind the house, so let's keep going. Just walking down the street in our murder robot. Throwing a street light at the ray police. Doo -doo -doo. Surrender! I'm made of smoke now! Thankfully, the police cars drop Zenny, as they do. It's also like a flying police vehicle. No mats for us! Guard our street light. Cops are no match for a giant robot, even with their giant flying vehicle. Or as the narrator from the intro, the beginning of the Mega Man Legend said, a flying machine. Servbots can also attack them, but they're not nearly as effective as a giant robot. I thought that giant in the grand scheme of things, I guess. Still notably bigger than them. The how they do this with stamens with just like clubs. I'm surprised they're this effective. Gonna blow up their big truck beforehand. So we don't have to deal with them. This is a situation we've ended up in. Guess we can't help one of the little R flying machines pick us up right now, so uh, what do we do? Can't seem to grab the ledge or anything. It does take me a second to figure out. Like, I start to get there by having the serve bots try to aim at that to climb up. But it doesn't actually work unless you aim at the truck. Which causes this to happen.
<laughs> Good job. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> that's that's genuinely hilarious. I laughed even harder the first time I saw that. And the best part is not that they like take a truck and just have it immediately fall down like that as it flies in the air, but that falls it seems to fly in the air that immediately falls in the shortest distance possible in front of it. <laughs> it's, that's great. That's fantastic. Gonna keep going forward. Gonna see we're not being followed. Throwing street lights at police cars is always morally correct. Throwing trees at flying vehicles is not possible, sorry. That's a shame, that would have been cool. Cause them to run around at this point. I was undecided if I should heal or not. And eventually I decided, yeah, let's do it. Let's heal once. With this restaurant we can rob. <laughs> I'm surprised that we rob food! But there's a truck in our way, and it's armored this time, so... Uh, that could be as easy to get rid of as all these other vehicles. It's also very good at driving back and forth to make sure we don't pass. So, I had an idea, but first I wanted to use the surf bots on this uh, not moving one. That still had a person inside, apparently. Duh, I thought you were gonna enter and steal from that. Said it gives you an idea what you actually have to do, which is cause them to tilt the truck just enough, just be enough of a distraction. Which these police officers now are, uh. Yeah, but if we distract the truck, we can get past it. It's more like a police van, whatever. We're finally at the bank! <laughs> you can tell because this has BANK on it! So now we have to fight the little uh, female police officer, and she can she can judo throw us, of course. I 
That's kind of a thing in kind of like anime and other things I've noticed is that if you have a surprisingly strong female character, especially in a comedic sort of way, a lot of times they'll just suddenly know <laughs> judo throw and a pretty powerful one. As you can tell by the fact that she's throwing a giant robot like the Gustav. We don't want, obviously, we don't want to get too near her or else she'll throw us and that hurts. This seems to be our only real attack. As long as we stay away from her, we should be fine. But I'm not doing such a great job at that, so yeah. She has invincibility frames, so we can't just, like, combo her. Heal again, just in case this throw kills us. Otherwise. Again, the kind of awkwardness of this robot... ...makes it more difficult than it would be in, uh, a lot of other games, I imagine. As it was strafing being so very odd and inconsistent. So the best strategy I found, ultimately, was just to... Run away, shoot, run away, shoot, run away, shoot. It does feel like it's just a bit too repetitive and time-wasting, honestly. Maybe we'll just focus on her, we'll finish her soon enough! There we go, got it. Wow, the giant safe in the middle of the bank that makes up half the building. Just like a real bank. With gold bars. Now let's grab everything in there and go home. Yes, it's fun. I think it's gold bars, but even though this is a world they focus on like little crystals as money. how just overly cheerful this game is. She's right. If I work hard enough, something good will happen. I hope. It's optimistic to the point of being just hilarious. Ton as any. Obviously, most of their money came from that gold. And the usual upgrades for some of them. All of them have brains! <laughs> there's. It looks like there's a lazy serve bot somewhere. Thanks! And that's it! 
What a wacky mission. As expected. As you might be able to guess, next time we're gonna do the next level for the uh, the second mission type with the crates. See you there.